Hi everyone. What I'm going to be doing is giving a presentation on the differences between cloning a vector versus expression vector. Vectors are basic stuffs in the field of genetic engineering and molecular cloning. They are used as vehicles for a foreign gene of interest into the host organism in a process known as transformation. Vectors protect DNA fragments against degradation by nucleases inside cells. This is because of foreign DNA are usually naked uh, or unprotected. Let's start with similarity between cloning vector and expression vector. Uh, both are consisting of three basic sequences, selectable marker, multiple cloning site, and origin of replication. Uh, and origin of replication, this sequence is necessary for replication of uh, the plasmids independently from the host's chromosomal DNA. Multiple cloning site contains a number of unique recognition sites for restriction enzymes for insertion of your foreign uh, gene of interest. Uh, this is a map of block 18 vector. So in the blue box, you can find the name of restriction enzymes. Uh, that their recognition sites found in uh, MCS region. And this number representing their position in vector. Uh, how can we use uh, MCS to insert a foreign DNA into a plasmid? The restriction sites in the MCS region are fairly secreted uh, uh, by restriction enzymes gonna be double digested by ND1 and J1 to open up your vector uh, and uh, a BCR amplified target gene also double digested uh, with the same restriction enzyme you use to open up your vector ND1 and J1 so you have to use the same enzymes uh, to get matching sticky ends between vector and gene of interest that would be spared with each other after mixing them together, then ligated uh, this gene into vector using a DNA ligase. Selector marker gene is necessary for selection of the positively transformed cells containing the recombinant vector. The most common marker is antibiotic resistant gene vector. Uh, carry uh, gene resistant to a specific antibiotic like uh, ampicillin resistant gene like ampicillin uh, resistant gene so if you add ampicillin into gross media ampicillin uh, permits the growth of only clones containing a vector with ampicillin resistant gene some vectors can carry two antibiotic resistant genes as an option you can use uh, tetracycline or ampicillin or you can use both of them uh, another kind of selective marker allows for selection of only uh, the positive clone is to use a lethal gene to the host cells uh, such as uh, these genes uh, this typically works by disrupting or removing the lethal gene during cloning process and uh, unsuccessful clones where the lethal gene still remains intact. Uh, what kills the host cells? Uh, therefore, only successful uh, clones uh, will be grown and selected. Uh, also, reporter genes can be used as selector marker in some cloning uh, vectors. The reporter genes are usually designed to be in frame with and flanking the MCS to facilitate the production of insertion. Actually, these genes facilitate the screening of successful clones by giving their own characteristic color that uh, allow successful clones to be easily identified. Such features are present in cloning vectors with the legged alpha fragment uh, for alpha complementation in blue-white selection. Uh, and the fusion uh, proteins like uh, GFB, uh, G green fluorescent protein. In this plasmid, uh, MCS is within the leg Z sequence. Uh, this sequence, the leg Z sequence, uh, can be cleaved uh, by restriction enzymes to insert your foreign DNA of interest. In this case, uh, the leg Z gene cannot produce its functional beta galactosidase enzyme needed for the alpha complementation. So, uh, if the foreign DNA uh, is not inserted into the vector or inserted outside the uh, MCS, 
the beta galactose enzyme will be produced and the catalysis the hydrolysis of, of X gal. X gal, X gal found in media, it's uh, uh, chromogenic substrate uh, to form an insoluble blue pigment. Therefore, colonies formed uh, by non recombinant uh, cells will be turned to blue color. Uh, while why the recombinant ones appear as uh, white colonies, as you can see in this plate. Uh, therefore, the desired recombinant uh, colonies, white colonies, can be easily picked up and subcultured. Uh, let's move on to the differences between cloning vector and the expression vector. Uh, cloning vectors are basically used to uh, carry foreign DNA segments into host cell. Uh, multiplication of the foreign DNA to get numerous copies of your foreign DNA and sequencing of uh, the foreign DNA. This is an ideal uh, example of cloning vector, turbo plasmid vector. This vector contains both canamycin and the ampicillin resistant gene um, and the lethal E. coli uh, gene, CCDB, fused to the C terminus of like uh, Z alpha fragment. Uh, the vector includes the flanking eco R1 uh, for simplified insertion of uh, cloned BCR products. Uh, Tubo vector comes with 3T overhangs for efficient ligation of tag polymerase amplified the BCR products with 3A overhangs. Ligation of a BCR product disrupts expression of the leg Z alpha CCDB gene permitting growth of only both of recombinant cells. Uh, uh, also this vector uh, comes with uh, four sequencing primer M13 reverse T3, T7, and M13 forward. Uh, you can use uh, one of them for DNA sequencing of uh, your inserted gene. Uh, expression vector is used to produce uh, the relevant uh, gene product of the inserted gene DNA. Therefore, it needs extra sequences to carry out its function. This sequence is like an enhancer. Enhancer is a short region of DNA that bound by transcription factors proteins uh, to increase the transcription rate of the inserted gene. So, increase transcription rate of inserted gene. Uh, a promoter, which is a regulatory region of DNA located upstream of gene, initiating the transcription of inserted gene. Shindalgirno sequence is a ribosomal binding site in messenger RNA of bacteria. Uh, it located the approximately eight bases upstream the start codon, so it close to start codon. So here start codon, ATG for DNA and AUG for uh, messenger RNA. The start codon is the first codon of a messenger of a messenger RNA translated by a ribosome. Uh, it is AUG that includes for mesionin. Subcodon or termination codon is one of three codes uh, TEA, TEG, TGA for DNA, and UA, UEG, or UGA for messenger RNA. A subcodon uh, terminates uh, the translation by uh, binding uh, release factors, which uh, cause the ribosomal subunits to dissociate and release the amino acid chain. Uh, finally, terminator, uh, terminator, this sequence uh, can be bespared with itself to form a steam lobe structure to terminate the transcription of inserted gene. So promoter initiate transcription, terminator terminate uh, transcription, start codon initiate translation, and stop codon terminate translation. So I can summarize the comparison between cloning vector and expression vector in this table. Cloning vector is a small DNA molecule which introduces uh, foreign DNA gene of interest in host cells. Expression vector uh, is a plasmid that not only introduces foreign DNA but also 
uh, express uh, relevant gene product, the function of clone vector to introduce the foreign DNA into host cell and obtain numerous uh, copies of foreign DNA and sequencing of foreign DNA. Why the only function of expression vector is uh, to get uh, gene product, uh, either RNA or uh, protein of inserted gene DNA of interest? Uh, both of cloning vector and expression vectors contain origin of replication, selective marker, multiple cloning site. Uh, while expression vector uh, 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 contains uh, other sequences like promoters, transcription initiation site, transition initiation site, translation termination site, transcription termination site. Uh, examples for cloning vector plasmids, cosmids, uh, phags, bacteria, artificial chromosome, yeast, artificial chromosome, or mammalia, artificial chromosomes can be used as clone vector. Expression vector are mostly uh, plasmids. Uh, plasmids are, are excellent DNA delivery vectors for this reason. Uh, we can enforce bacteria to keep them. Uh, since plasmids contain genes for uh, antibiotic resistance, uh, only those, uh, those cells uh, that contain uh, only those cells that contain plasmids will survive, grow, and reproduce on antibiotic-containing growth media. The other cells uh, without plasmid will be killed uh, by antibiotic found in media. Uh, plasmids uh, are covered independently. Uh, plasmids are uh, self replicative uh, Plasmids uh, can be covered numerous times regardless, regardless of whether the bacterial host is replicating its own chromosomal DNA or not. Uh, and your inserted gene is continued to, to be replicated every time a plasmid vector is replicated. Uh, plasmids are circular double-stranded DNA molecules that exist naturally in bacteria. Uh, a circular DNA is perfect to incorporate a crystal DNA sequence. Uh, that's because it can be cut uh, uh, or open uh, without falling apart. Uh, then it snap back together once new DNA has been incorporated.